checking out the artwork that they have in the sitting area. Welcome to a LiPo 360 vlog. I am doing a LiPo 360 today. I am minutes away from my procedure. And I will see you guys on the flat side. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I cannot believe I'm doing this, although I'm doing this. I cannot believe I'm doing this, although I'm doing it. I see you guys on the flat side. I would love for you guys to click on the link in my description. I'm starting a podcast in a month or so. I would like for you guys to click the link if you listen to a podcast. My podcast would be about, you know, life, like lifestyle, self-improvement, you know, your journey. So my podcast would be about everything, life stories, where I interview people. You guys can call in or just listen to me on my podcast. And my journey for surgery today would be on my podcast. I'm going to be open and honest and talk about my journey, my life experience, and all that jazz. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, please click on the link in my description for my podcast. And yeah. Start burn. You feel burn? No. It's supposed to burn. Yeah, the medicine is burning. Mm. Just do it gentle. I'll try. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I I did surgery. A little update. I am now in the recovery area for the anesthesia to leave my body. Surgery was successful. I'm starving. I can't eat until four hours. It's now 8.30 p.m. and the last time I had something to eat was 9 p.m. last night. So it's almost 24 hours since I've eaten something. I'm hungry. But yeah, this is um hours after surgery. I did it. I made it on the flutter side. <sighs> oh. I just had my soup. What I notice here and I like it since I'm out of surgery like four hours now, right? I'm out like four hours now, right? Four hours yeah, or five. Yeah. Four, four? four hours. I'm out of surgery four hours now. And three times they came to check my blood pressure, my oxygen level, and a doctor came to see me. So that's good, making sure that, you know, my pressure is right, my oxygen level is right. They gave me drip to keep me hydrated, and doctor came. So I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow morning before I am off to the recovery home so i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow that will be day that'll be 24 hours after lipo 360. so try and get some rest and remember if you haven't subscribed like as yet please to do so gladly I appreciate it i don't know if you guys can see they just give me some iron that's a black thing over there iron and some pain, pain medication and something for me to sleep it's no one aim and i'm still up 
they gave me some soup and juice box for dinner i guess or whatever this should be hours after surgery and the first thing i'm eating is some soup and two boxes of juice It's not my usual soup, but I'm not gonna lie, it can drink. Let's talk about my journey after surgery. Today I'm two days post-op. I'm back at the recovery house. My first night I slept right through. Last night was horrible. Last night I got no sleep. I was in so much pain because of the fluid buildup so i had a long night last night wake up this morning got myself clean up with one of the nurses here in the recovery house they help you to do everything when i say everything they help you here to do everything so i got clean up and i drink um a cup of the arnica tea that helped a lot i drink pineapple tea ginger tea which is good for you know inflammation all that jazz the swelling the stiffness my throat is killing me i somewhat sound hoarse so <clears throat> i've been eating owls and ginger candy for the past two days but i'm coming on today i feel much better than yesterday yesterday was a shit show <laughs> but today post up um i did a massage today that was awesome i did a lymphatic massage today there was so much fluid that was built up oh my god so i did that i have another massage tomorrow and monday i'm going back to see my doctor for the first follow-up that will be four day post up i think the next three vlogs from this one is going to be about my post-op so if this is a journey um i have so much to explain but i don't want this long this vlog to be very long so as, as my days go by i will you know update and let you guys know how i'm feeling i will show you guys you know the difference before surgery i weighed myself and i was 175 I'm hoping to lose 20 pounds right back to where I belong at 150, 155. But why do I do surgery? Um, what's you know the reason behind all this is coming up very soon. Remember to click the link in the description and subscribe to my podcast. I'm excited to you know my first podcast updates. So awesome. But I'm here, the place is very clean. The recovery house is very clean. The service is good. The nurses are here. It's just for me to recover soon enough so I can go back home to the States. I don't like the food here at all. I don't like the food. You guys that's been subscribed for the past couple months know I'm a seafood person. I love my fruits and my vegetables. They do give you fruits and the vegetables here but the seafood that i'm used to i'm a very picky eater so there uh, i try to eat but it's not for me but yeah i'm hanging in there i did lipo 360. i did it i did it i did it i did it i'm in my stage one faha i'm open to go in my stage two by wednesday to get some more compression so the information could you know to keep down the information <coughs> keeping when i cough it hurts keeping drinking you know a lot of fluid after surgery i had to do a iron infusion my iron dropped from 12 to 8 so i had to um to build back up my iron taking lots of vitamins so if you guys are planning to do lipo 360 make sure you're eating your fruits your red meats make sure your 
iron is very high your vitamins make sure you're drinking water i keep on having issues for them to find my vein i don't know where my veins are but every time someone wants to put blood or whatever even my lab when i went to do my labs it was so hard for the nurse to find my vein before surgery when they were putting the iv in my arm to give me the medication it was a shit show it was a shit show they keep on juking me all over cannot find any veins so make sure you're drinking your water eating properly hydrating yourself so when it's time for your surgery you're good to go once again thank you guys for watching there are more videos coming with me here in the R <laughs> and I will keep on to update you guys on my journey um, very soon I wish well the next vlog I will show you guys because my next massage I'm going to um, video and show you guys what I'm looking like what the procedure is all that jazz but I'm here yeah it's a journey it's painful it's painful i know a lot of persons is like oh shauna you didn't need to do lipo you could have went to the gym let me tell you i've tried almost everything one of the hardest places to get rid of fat is your tummy my you know that side back fat i had so much back fat when I turn sideways, you know, when your fat turn over right there, I am not used to it. I'm never a fat person. I was never a thick person. I'm always a slim girl. So I don't know what happened with all this weight gain and I have fat everywhere. My belly is uncomfortable. I'm walking. My legs are rubbing together. And I can't, if I'm wearing like a open back blouse or dress i have so much back fat hanging that's just not for me i did not like the way how i look it's messing with my confidence if you're never a fat person never a person that have weight and then over a year you blow up it's gonna mess with you and that's what it did and i don't play those games i don't so i have an issue and i fix it i see you guys in my next vlog <laughs>